girls, welcome back. So today I have my July favorites and I'm looking at all my products and everything is screaming summer favorites. So it's basically my July summer favorites. So we're gonna get right into it. So first off I'm gonna talk about is Slim Chiller. So I am partnering with them for this video and I'm excited because I already tried this brand before and I talked about it within 2020. We're all trying out new things and this brand caught my eye and I'm excited to partner with them and to talk about threezers. Now this is basically a frozen cocktail. A lot of you guys jumped on this because of me. A lot of you loved it. You're like, oh my gosh, this is like an adult popsicle. This is so exciting. Again, 21 and up, please be responsible. So this is a skinny threezer and it's a rum cocktail. So you just freeze it for eight hours. You can find these at Target, Walmart. I know Kroger's have them. I'll leave a link down below where you can find retailers, but these are so much fun. Like, especially during like the pool when you're like, poolside and all that or like a party it's definitely like a fun treat where it's like different than your usual like oh let's just have like a regular drink or whatever you have in a cooler these are super fun plus they're gonna cool you off and it's also a rum cocktail freeze pop at the same time so this one is obviously the red white and blue and when you open it up you'll see all three layers and they're just so fun just stick them in a cooler with ice but again freeze them for eight hours then stick them in a cooler and then just have everybody enjoy and I absolutely love these so yeah let me know down below if you guys try these out because I have quite a few of you on my Instagram stories telling me hey I tried these out because of you totally summertime these are gonna be a hit so Try them out, I'll link them down below so you can find a retailer like I said, but I have always enjoyed these, they're just so fun. Next up, I this is gonna be the last time I talk about these because we all need them for summertime. Come on now, these sunglasses from dawn to dusk, I'm just, or from dusk to dawn, whatever, whatever they're called, from dusk to dawn, you guys need these. These are the cutest sunglasses ever, I'm obsessed with them. Every time I wear them on Instagram, they're like, what are what, what sunglasses are they are you wearing? It's underneath my highlights, so I made sure to do that. But I've been trying to get more into fashion now that, you know, I'm actually doing things and we're not totally cooped up and we need to breathe fresh air and hey, why not look cute while you're doing it? I'm totally over the sweatpants season or anything just like making me feel blah. Like I love being girly and dressing up. Like we need it. We need, need it to feel good, at least for myself. Myself. So I'm obsessed with these and then the other pair you guys already know You guys already know this pair right here the 925 Absolutely love these these are like the perfect I feel crappy So I need a sunglass to help me out because sometimes we all need a little bit of help You know, we need that little oomph and these totally do it when I wear these I'm just like ready for the day so again last time i'm going to talk about them but i've been wearing them non-stop and i keep getting questions about them i did do a try on go check it out uh, a lot of you love that try on so i'm super happy and a ton of you are twinning with me so i'm really um happy that i found some good pairs because sometimes you can get some styles and they, they look super funky on your head shape but those ones i just feel like are gonna just looks so good on everybody, which is where they'll just give like that confidence that you need that boost, like I said, because sometimes we do need a little extra help. And I specifically love these because I feel like when you don't wear makeup and you put these on, it's just like makeup who we don't need her. Okay. And none of us ever need makeup, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Summer scent. I can't get away from this and it's making me sad how low it's going. Uh, Daisy uh, by Marc Jacobs. This one is so good. The Oh So Fresh. I love this one. It's just, sorry, I kind of have like boogers. I'm like, it sounded like that to my caves. I'm like, that was not a very cute sniff, but I'm here for it. Uh, I haven't sprayed perfume yet, but ooh, it is just like my go-to. It just smells so good and it just screams summer. For me to go this low in a perfume says a lot because I have quite a few perfumes, I won't lie. I love different scents, but if I were to pick one of my top light go-to everyday scents, this is it. I love scents that can also be transitioned into nighttime and I'll wear this at night just because it's so nice, light and fresh and I feel like during summertime, you don't necessarily have to have like a romantic, deep, musky, vanilla, cinnamon, you know, type of feel. Like I, I feel like you can get away with like fresh, girly scents like this during nighttime because you know, spring and summer is more like light and I feel like during fall and winter, that's when you're like, all right, 
let's feel seductive at night even though you know you wear those scents during nighttime regardless of the season but like I said I feel like this is just so perfect during spring and summer again she's getting low and I'm getting sad but this is a staple scent where I feel like I would always purchase this no matter what if you were able to get your hands on this this is going viral on TikTok and I also did a video on it the Brazilian nut body butter this is a complete dupe of the Sol de Janeiro one, uh, but I will say it's not as luxurious, so if you've ever wanted to try that lotion, this is definitely a good alternative. Again, a dupe is never exactly the same, but it's similar enough, so if you just can't bite the bullet on that expensive freaking lotion, which I, or body butter that, uh, trust me, I know, it's a pretty penny, I only buy it during the sale, but that one's so luxurious. This one is a great alternative. Um, I absolutely love finding more affordable products to try out that are similar, but I've been using it and it is just, I've been rationing it out, I'm not gonna lie, because if you got your hands on this, you were lucky. Now, I'm talking about it because I actually saw some Trader Joe's ended up restocking when they said that they weren't going to, so hopefully you can still get your hands on it. I believe it's only $5.99. Yeah, in comparison to like that crazy like $45 body butter I know it has a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent for me it's just more like a tropical like like a regular cocoa butter with like a little tropical twist that's what I smell but yeah I think it smells really good and it works well so in case you can get your hands on it find this more affordable dupe like I said it's not exactly the same the other one is much more luxurious I'm not gonna like say oh my gosh it's exactly it but it's a great alternative so I have been used, I've been so picky with brow pencils where I refuse to really purchase or really recommend like eyebrow pencils or anything like that that are super expensive because that's a product that you use all the time. I feel like you constantly go through them. Um, sometimes you change your hair color so you kind of go through like a phase of needing different colors. But this one right here is so good from LA Girl and I'm surprised that I love it as much as I do because you got to sharpen it on your own. And sometimes you can get really, really, really lazy when it comes to things that are so convenient, like a twist, you know, brow pencil. So self-sharpening. But this shade that I've been using, I'm wearing right now, and it's much lighter than what I usually wear, but I need it because my hair is much lighter now. Um, I need to get it redone. I'm getting it done August 5th. But I've been loving the light hair, but with that, I definitely needed to lighten up my brow pencils. When I wear a darker brow, it's not too bad because I've always been like a fan of darker brows, period. But this one definitely matches me more. This one's in the shade medium brown. But what I love about this is that it blends out so beautifully. Let me get my mirror up so I know what I look like. Um, I definitely like how it blends out beautifully. So when you place the product, it's, it's pigmented. So when you press hard, it's super pigmented. But what I love is that when you blend it out, it doesn't fade away. And I feel like a lot of pencils do that. You can get a really natural brow. This one's called the Featherette Brow Shaping Powder Pencil. So maybe that's why it blends so beautifully. Uh, I really love this formula. I have super oily eyebrows and this lasts pretty well. I know it's gonna be super affordable because it's LA Girl, but this is definitely one of their top products right now. I don't know if you do the little beads, like the waxing beads, but sometimes you don't have time to warm all that up, see if it's not too hot so that you don't burn your skin because trust me, been there, not fun. I'm obsessed with these Nats facial wax strips. I bought these a couple weeks ago at Target because I ran out, I went and I was like, oh my gosh, I need the wax strips. I've been using these for so many years. I've used a couple different brands, but I keep going back to this one. I think this one works really well. I also like a Sally Hansen uh, brand, but it's a specific one that's similar to this. Uh, but I couldn't find it, so I picked this one up. But I usually go for this brand, the Nads Facial Wax Strips. Um, really easy, just rub it between your hands and then just place it and boop. And I do my stash and sometimes my upper brows. Um, I don't really grow too many brows up here, but you know, you always need to clean up. A really quick alternative as opposed to using like those beads because that can get messy as well or some, may, maybe you don't have that or you need like a little, you know, spruce up in between your wax appointments, who knows, but this is just so fast and convenient and it really works. Just rub it in, make sure it gets warm in between your hands. Don't rush it because if you peel it, then it's still gonna just stay sticky and not take anything off takes off all my stash. I'm pretty picky when it comes to face products during summertime. I like something really nice and light. 
and something that's going to give me just enough coverage, but not necessarily, I don't need full. If I do full coverage, I'll wear the one I'm wearing right now, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation or the CC Plus. Right now I'm wearing Bye Bye Foundation in medium tan. This Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I'm all about that Tinted Moisturizer life during summertime. Just nice and light, and like I said, I love the glow. So to me, online it says that it's a matte formula, but not in my opinion. I feel like it does end up glowy but it is so beautiful. I compare Laura Mercier products uh, to NARS products because I feel like they bring out like your true beauty. They just help enhance your features. And I think this product looks so beautiful on the skin. I use it on a try on. I'm in the shade 3W1 Bisque. I tried to show this during Instagram and I couldn't get the proper lighting. You guys know how I feel about high-end products. I'm all about affordable alternatives, but this one just looks like model skin. Like you place it, it's just like that glow, like that beautiful skin that you see. This is it. It comes in a little spout like this. And I just use a brush or a sponge and it's great. It's it's light medium coverage. It's not even medium. Uh, you can barely build it up. So if you have like a lot of problematic areas and you don't feel comfortable, you'll probably have to spot correct, etc. But if you just want to let your natural skin just kind of breathe, but you want something just to balance it out, this one's a nice one. I have never been about cream contour life. I've always done powders, but now I'm so obsessed with cream blushes. It's so hard for me to use a powder blush, and if I do, it's because I put it on top of a cream blush. I'm just all about that cream blush life. I feel like it just blends beautifully, it lasts really long, and then it fades nice too. Now, this is my favorite hands down cream contour stick ever. I've tried a couple and I feel like I just couldn't get it or it just didn't look right, but the KKW Beauty one is really good. Uh, I believe I remember hearing my friend Samage rave about this one time when we're like on a trip. When I place this, it blends out beautifully. I have this shade um, medium and it does come with another stick, so let me show you the two shades that I use right here today I used a little bit of a mixture of both right here and I am wearing it today but look how natural it looks it doesn't look like I over contoured I have it up above it just blends really nicely and what I use is where is she right here my dual fiber brush from Sigma and it just blends it out really nicely and I'm obsessed with it. So it's a new product that I'm like all raving about. And I do know she had a sale on the site because I went ahead and I wanted to try out her formula or her lipsticks. Now she's supposedly changing the formula. I think she's just dropping the West, but who knows the speculations on that. Um, but I need to check the site again. Hopefully not everything sold out because I would totally get this. Um, and then probably in a, like the next shade up because this is very like natural contour. And if I want anything super glam, I'm definitely gonna have to ump up the color. I'm gonna show you two womps that I had and they're both brushes. I was like, what's my deal with brushes? So one, well, I don't even have the other one, but I broke a wet brush and that one just got destroyed. And now I use like the more thick heavy duty one, which is by far way superior. I had no idea that they had a more thick like barrel like this one. The original wet brush is so thin, the handle, it just snapped. But I tried out this really cute one that I've had and I haven't had any issues, but then again, I was thinking, I don't really use this too much to like detangle, etc. I use this ring on my ponytail or bun and I just got it because it was just so cute. It's a brand from Walmart. It just completely ripped out every single time. And so it has like a little lip right here and I can put it back, but every time I brush my hair, it just like rips back out. So it's just like super cheap. It's not even like glued down, I noticed. Because I look back here, I was like, oh, there's no glue. So it's not like heat or anything lifted it up. If you ever see this brush, this one specifically, it's not heavy duty whatsoever. Then Heritage sent me some products over and I saw this brush. I was like, whoa, this looks like super cool. And it's like a detangling brush. No, this is a self-defense brush because this is so hard and super spiky that I actually hurt myself when I went to go brush my hair. Sometimes I'm super quick. I just grab a brush. And I'm like, boom. Have you ever done that? I'm sure you have, but this is not friendly. It really hurt. I feel like girls can keep this on the side of their car for self-defense. I'm not kidding. It is that spiky. I've never seen a brush 
this just tough with this type of bristle? And then I even wanted to see, is this supposed to be for maybe hair extensions? But I'm like, no, this is a regular hair care line. So yeah, I'm not a fan of it. It is very heavy duty, what will not come apart, but I'm just saying it's, it's a dangerous one. And then my last summertime favorite is my go-to hair product that I've been using. And it's this waiver. I did, I posted a picture with these sunglasses and thank you so much for all the love. I'll put the pic like right here and everybody was like, I love your hair like that. It looks so great. Trust me, I love it because one, it takes me less than 10 minutes to do my hair with this baby right here. Now you would think it would take longer because I have super long hair and I have a lot of hair, but no, it's 10 minutes or less and I just part it in three sections here and three sections on this side, like by layers, one, two, three, and I just clip it up. This is the best waiver ever. It's like perfect summer hair. It's so easy to use. Make sure you use a heat protectant. I've been using this one, Redken Iron Shape 11. I don't know, this is what I've just been using. I'm trying to finish it, that's why it's almost done. But back to the waiver. This one is the Bedhead Wave Artist. Now I believe this is the, I don't know if there's one or two. I know there's a turquoise one, but I think this is like number two maybe. I don't know, I'll link it down below. I got mine off of Amazon. I've seen it at Target, I believe, and I'm pretty sure Walmart probably has this, but I love this waiver because it's really nice and deep and it doesn't give you that crimpy look. And no offense to anybody who likes that, but I like a more effortless, like loose wave as opposed to that crimp look. But if you do use this, you can get that more deep, like set crimp type of wave if you want to, but I do like the more loose, sort of thing, I don't know, if you see the picture, that's how I like to do my hair. But the reason why I like this is, I know those pink, there's like a pink barrel one that's like pretty large, it looks like a whole, I always think it looks like a waffle maker, but I don't know why, but it's like really wide and I think it has like six barrels, it's huge, it's like, it's like you're doing two clamps per each side, like one, two, one, two, and you're done. But the issue with the, with that is that, the it's not deep like this. See how it's like a deep wave and that one is like very short. So you get, um, I don't know, you don't get that volume that you like because I'm one where I don't get a ton of volume from my hair and I'm not good at giving myself volume and let's be real, I don't really try to give myself volume because it takes effort. I like the deep wave of this one. Another reason why I like this is because you can kind of separate it where you can pick how far apart you want your waves with that other one where they're at they're just set so I actually appreciate how this is like more of a shorter barrel width wise because I don't know like when you clamp it it's like boom it's like that's where it's at but you can like spread it apart on this one and make it look more loose like I said my waves last all day um, I feel like I really don't have to hold on to the waiver for a really long time. Like it's not a cheaper product where you're like burning your hair in order for it to hold. And I believe it's only 25 bucks. I've had this for about two years, but this is my go-to. I love it. All right guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below. Have you tried out any of these products? Do you feel like I need to try something out for a next for next month's favorites? Let me know and I'll check that out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you beautiful pineapples in the next one. Mwah. Woo